Good afternoon, everyone. Before we get started, I want to extend my sympathy to the millions of Americans who have had their lives turned upside down by Hurricane Milton and Hurricane Helene. I know I speak for all of us in expressing my gratitude to the first responders on the ground who are carrying out rescue missions. And I want to thank all the volunteers who are helping their neighbors get through these storms. And now to the subject of today's announcement. Today, TD Bank pled guilty to multiple felonies, including conspiring to violate the Bank Secrecy Act and commit money laundering. TD Bank has also agreed to a $1.8 billion criminal penalty, combined with civil enforcement actions announced today by other agencies the United States will be imposing a total of approximately $3 billion against TD Bank. TD Bank created an environment that allowed financial crime to flourish. By making its services convenient for criminals, it became one. Today, TD Bank became the largest bank in U.S. history to plead guilty to Bank Secrecy Act program failures and the first bank in history to plead guilty to conspiracy to commit money laundering. This is also the largest ever penalty under the Bank Secrecy Act and the first time the Justice Department has assessed a daily fine against a bank. As part of the plea agreement, TD Bank will fundamentally restructure its corporate compliant program at its U.S.-based bank, which is the 10th largest in the United States. The bank has also agreed to the imposition of a three-year monitorship and a five-year term of probation. While the bank has started its remediation, it will continue to remediate and improve its anti-money laundering compliance program to ensure that the bank operates lawfully and safely moving forward. In addition to obtaining today's corporate felony pleas, the Justice Department has also prosecuted two dozen individuals for their involvement in money laundering schemes that moved over $670 million in illicit funds through TD Bank accounts. So far, the Justice Department has charged two TD Bank employees for their involvement in one of these schemes. Pursuant to the plea agreement, TD Bank is required to fully cooperate with the Justice Department's investigation of the bank and any of its officers, directors, and employees. If the bank fails to do so, it will again be subject to criminal prosecution in which the statement of facts that are part of the plea agreement may be used as evidence against it. Our criminal investigations into individual employees at every level of TD Bank are active and ongoing. As is the case in all corporate criminal matters, no one involved in TD Bank's illegal conduct will be off limits. We will follow the evidence wherever it leads. Federal anti-money laundering laws are designed to 